Hiya, welcome back to the channel. So today we are in an old Peugeot diesel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and test some of this stuff. And it's a dipertain fuel additive. And um, well, this, this, if you wanna read that, just, just pause it and it sort of tells you what it does. But it's supposed to clean shit and make it run better. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna be testing. Now first, I need to get a baseline result. So as we can see, we have got a fuel light on which came on that long ago. And uh, I need to put some fuel in it to test it without any additive in it. So then I can compare it to with the additive and possibly after the additive. So let's go and put some fuel in the shitter. Yes. And now we have two gallons of diesel inserted into the fuel tank. So we're ready to go and get our control. Now I'm gonna try and measure three things and compare three things. First one, most importantly, is gonna be obviously acceleration. Is it gonna make any viable difference that you can notice? Um, the next one is gonna be how the engine sounds, which I'll wait for it to warm up and then I'll try and record the sound of it in a manner that can be repeated. And then I'm gonna see if it makes any difference in how much smoke it puts out. But this car doesn't really put any out anyway. So let's let's go and try the first one. So that was how fast or not fast it is. Let's Try and see what it sounds like. Sounds like a diesel and pretty much doesn't smoke at all. So, anyway, lights come back on at 46.15 mpg. So, let's reset that and then put some more fuel in and add the dipper turn. And there are the instructions for doing that. But of course, I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to do the usual two gallon test and I'm going to put half a bottle of this in. To make it more concentrated and obviously exaggerate any effects that this might actually have. Fuck it. That'll do. That'll do me. Yes. And now, including the half a litre of additive that I put in, it should be exactly two gone if you under. Obviously I've got to account for the amount of additive I've added because this is carried out in lab conditions. And after completing about 10 miles or so, what I have noticed so far is that it seems to be ticking over ever so slightly faster. Not even that you can see just such a small amount that you can't even see, but it's enough so that the frequency, the vibration of the engine is now, well, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear like the, the tensioner rattling or something like that, which it sort of does as it's coming back down through the revs and then stops when it gets to you know, slow tick over. But now it seems to be doing it all the time as so well, it's just ticking over a little bit faster. And also, it could just be a placebo, but it does feel a little bit less sluggish. until we put the uh, accelerations up next to each other. But what I can say for sure is that the tick over, well, it's not as smooth. And it pretty much didn't smoke at all before, so this is probably a waste of time. Although, there was a bit of smoke and it does seem to have cleared that up. Looks like there's nothing now. Uh, anyway, let's see what mileage and MPG we get out of the shitter. Yes. And this time, we have got 47 MPG. So, 
not really that much different. Or oh, not different enough to show anything too conclusive or concrete evidence that it's actually doing anything. Um, the This pretty typical MPG that any, anywhere between sort of 46 to 48 is what I usually get out of this as, as a rule anyway. Um, so yeah, not, not really anything there to show. Um, the only thing I've noticed since running this stuff in here is that it takes over a bit noisier. And I think that is because, as I sort of explained briefly before, the idlers and the tensioners on the belt are a bit noisy on this. And at different RPMs, as the RPMs go up, as soon as you start revving it, they shut up. But before, it sort of makes that noise as it drops down. And then when it drops down a little tiny bit more than that, it'd be at a point where it shut up again, which is not, it doesn't seem to be dropping down. It's probably like 10 RPM or something. The difference between it rattling and not rattling but it seems to be doing that consistently now so i'll see if that stops when i stop using it um or when it's not got as much in it a lower dose in it because i'm going to keep on putting it in at the recommended for well whatever it is you can use it as like a, a mega flush which is what i've done pour half a bottle into half a tank or whatever or you can add a little bit to the fuel constantly and we'll keep on doing that and i'll update with a pinned comment so anyway i'm going to put the side by sides of the acceleration comparison up and i'll leave you with that so i think that's all for this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe all that shit and i'll see you next time